So hello there folks, welcome back to town to Sharon and Valerius. Hello Valerius. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Don't write me. I won't do. I'm going to unpause yeah, this for you. Valerius and leave him. They've got some work to be doing. Yeah. Um, we're probably going to need another chop. Uh, I'll let them get these last few blocks in then we'll send them off for a chop. Um, something I wanted to tell you Valerius, I've been, I've been sitting on this for a few days. You well, remember? You get off it. You remember when we go down to the next layer of dungeon? We were yeah. sort of worried about putting too many barrels in the storeroom for things that we yeah. don't have, like blue slime, for example, because obviously they're all. Put a door down there and lock the, it. Well, we've got this beautiful <laughs> storeroom. We can lock the storeroom doors. Yeah. And they won't haul anything. But the only problem with that is they'll never build anything either. Well, it doesn't matter if, if you know, for that first bit when we're busy breaking through into the next corridor... You might as well just put a door down there, let the heroes through, lock it. They can beat the crap out of everything that's down there and we'll unlock it when I want to come back through. I know, but if then if one of them wants out, you've got to unlock it. And then if a monster gets out, it's like, you know, or a townie gets in to go do some hauling, we can't call them back. will all beat them up anyway. They probably fight. will. Townies but it is, I mean, obviously, the, the dungeon does get a lot more dangerous as it goes on. I know, but um, have you seen these guys? Yeah, I thought as much. We probably need some blue flowers here, Valerius, as well. What we should do is uh, make a little honeydew dwarf into uh, part of an army and send him down, Just there, send by him down there by himself. Yeah. Like a boss. Golden armor, not taking any damage. He needs, oh. his, uh, he needs his golden axe first, though. Yeah. We need a merchant. The heroes winning around, though. They just want to do something. Oh, God. I've been here for so all, long. All the blue hats. <laughs> these are our flowers, man. <laughs> We'll pick Thank these you. ourselves. Or we're watching over them. <laughs> it's it's the special blue. The special blue. The special blue hat blue. Chris shut up. Snotted later. <laughs> That's how you do these things. Exactly. Exactly. So, so, yeah, anything else you want to speak about? Did you notice I've given a, a while back, he gave me yeah. a plus little potted plant. <laughs> I did notice. <laughs> And, uh, I thought, mm, mm, <laughs> favorism. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is the leader. There's the uh, honeydew dwarf. Uh. Mm. I want to get his outfit finished. It's going to look so good when it's finished. Anything else you wanted to mention? Uh, I'm also uh, maybe um, the surgeon simvid that looks fantastic. The surgeon simvid. Yeah, looks absolutely fantastic. What? What specifically about it? it? Does look fantastic. It was very funny. It was a lot of fun making it and a lot of fun uh, watching it back, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because I did all the editing on that. And then uh, I let you watch it back, didn't I? It's, and you were just, you were cracking up by halfway around. quite one of the first ones as well that I've driven for. Yeah. And, and no one cares. I know. No one, no one cares. It. No one left any comments. So people who watch Towns will now have to sit here and listen to us talk about it for an entire episode. <laughs> that, that's backfired, hasn't it? <laughs> no one thumbed it up either, so I'm like, I'm uh, not bothered rendering the bonus footage. <laughs> nobody wants to see yeah. you complete it, Valerius. Right it's just, nobody I went, cares. I went in space. I did all the and, uh, space level. I was fantastic. And uh, that's what the bonus footage is going to be, like you doing the entire space level. But no Which you did very well on, by the way. I was, it, I was very impressed. It looks like hard times ahead for Valerius. <laughs> Looks like all parts are here for the Mario's. I just quickly want to check. We've got bread. We've got four purples. Oh, that's enough purples. We've got red. We've got blue. We've got purple. I'm just, I'm sort of, I'm just putting floor, uh, floor, four can, blocks can, in there because we make um, it looks weird. A disco light. A disco light. Yeah. What and have a a funky Friday disco night. Yeah, made out of blue, yellow, and red. And then they can combine together to make different colours. We, could, we should have done that. We should have done these roads, like, one square red, one yellow, one blue, oh one God, green, one purple, so one orange, one red, one yellow, one blue. <laughs> that would have looked so bad. <laughs> Rainbow roads. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome, Valerius. Absolutely awesome. Uh, what's the food situation? I haven't looked at that for a while, actually. Oh, my God, 63 flour. But only 27 bread. Yeah, it's just because they're busy not baking it. I know. Best. But the food processing facility is almost up, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, and it won't be long, and we'll have at least cow meat for a while. I, I was then, thinking uh, of uh, putting Nomoria on my channel, by the way, did I tell you? No, you didn't. Yeah, because uh, we, we never told anyone as well that we were getting into Nomoria. Are you getting quite good at it? We did actually mention well, it in a previous episode. The reason why I'm it. getting into it now is because obviously I can't play towns, which I think I yeah. mentioned before, because obviously, because we do this all on my computer, I don't actually want to play towns. 
because I'll either have to end up playing on one of the harder levels. Technically, you can. You just have to copy. I've got plenty of You'd have to just back up the, our version eight launcher. There's, there's a lot of danger and being swap able. out between the current launcher there's and the a, version there's, eight. There's one. just a lot of danger of it being broken or something. I know. It's just so much easier not to do it. It is a lot of risk, isn't so, it? We are sort of now locked yeah. into this. It's like ah, oh, you, you can't abandon it. So it's just much easier <laughs> for me at the moment to be able just to work on you know, no more. Yeah. No more. Yeah. Which it's, it's much harder. Oh, I, got to, shit, I got to year people, two in Namoria and I was like really pleased with myself. And I went to go read up like you know some strategy guys about this. Yeah. People do insane stuff on Namoria. Like One what? guy, by the time he got to summer, basically had his entire half of his people as like troops and they were all training. Yeah. And like he still had loads of minerals and loads of wood and everything, was building all up. I was just like, How do you get them to do this much stuff? Just practice, I guess. My guys yeah. are just rubbish. <laughs> I just I mean, like, all four of those kind of... It's like the difference between like, people who, who are doing Towns Let's Plays, who like yeah. obviously played it a lot. They start, and the first thing they do is like get a load of mud and build a shitload of mud hut so that they can increase their population yeah. massively to start with. So they they start it with like 50 townies and a bunch of heroes, which is a smart move, really. That's what Ghetto did on his, uh, on his channel. The thing is, though, for me, it's like, even though that's a good idea and all that, it takes out the fun of it. I'd, I'd like to see them struggle along building their own bloody houses. Well, yeah, true. It's not I reckon it's more fun because we pretty much went at this blind, didn't we, really? I'm just looking forward to December. When we started, I played a little bit of it and that was it. Looking forward to December. Mm. In, in town's December. Uh, no. Real life December. Real life December. Why? What's happening in December? Not only is there a lot of actual games coming out then, but that's when I get my first beta copy of uh, Stoneheart. Ah, oh, right. And I get my cute kitten companion. I'm looking forward for, to For being a backer. That. Cute kids and companion, guys. Right. Shall I... I'll get him to do a chop. Oh, God, I cannot wait for that. Shall I do the interior walls before we do the second layer? Uh, plan yes. it out. Now, I'm, this bit straight away is going to be storeroom. Where's my columbage walls? Other? No, not other. Yeah. What were they under? Decorative. Decorative. Okay, so... It's going to be... Yeah, well, um, I also started it's gonna playing be around. that, and then we'll just... I started playing around with the NPS creator as well. And yesterday... FPS creator. Oh, yeah, you were telling me I managed to get my voice in the game yesterday. That was quite cool. So you basically walk down a corridor, and then suddenly my voice comes on and goes, Yeah, you see those androids? Better go kill those androids. I think that was right. fantastic. Android killing. So what have you done? Have you just put it in as like uh, some sort of WAV file? Yeah, you have to put a WAV file. It has to be in a very specific place for some strange reason. Yeah. It's like a folder that like a resource it locks folder. everything. Yeah. Right, so the reason I've done this is so that we can put another interior wall here for the dining room. Mm. And then we can road the actual, you know, the corridor, as it were, so that they'll I move faster the through it. On the other side. Uh, that big long this room? is the dining room, and this is oh, the right. kitchen. I'll oh, show you. I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it, Valerius. I thought you were doing it the long ways on the other side. No. So that's... This is the dining area. Okay. Uh, I need a cancel button there. See, if you put it the other way, I wouldn't have to have a road through it. Then. I road through the dining room. It's not going to be road through the dining room. It's just going to be road in these corridors. But then there's the door there that's going to waste because people will still have to walk through the dining room. So clearly doing the dining room this long way from the bottom of that door to the bottom of that door would have been better. Because then there's Then no... this is going to be the kitchen. This is too big for the kitchen. We don't need no, this much space. all the way from the top to the bottom. It's long that way. Well, split that in half. No, how you've done the kitchen now... Expand the very bottom of the kitchen to the very bottom of this house. Make that the dining yes, room. That one long one, so there's a corridor between. And then between. make this area of the kitchen. Yeah. Okay, so I have, see what you're saying. Because that was the original plan, because then they have an actual walkway. Okay. Which seems uh, far funkier and much more hip. <laughs> <laughs> you're down with the kids, right? <laughs> I am. I know what these kids want. So if that is that, and then... They're, they're crying out for this. So now I'm going to have to put doors... See, now though, it has a bunch of places so we can put a door. Which will make and it then... better. 
Ah, c'est ah, ça. Ah, c'est ça. Ah, c'est ça. That you make it symmetrical. It's got to be symmetrical. It's got, it's got to look nice, Flaria. Oh my god, we've put so much effort into making it look nice. Now it'd be a shame to fuck it up, wouldn't it? It's got to be fantastically um, symmetrical. Put that one. Well, actually, I don't, I don't want to door that, do I? No, you don't want to door that. Shit. Uh, oh, I'm navigating these menus like a boss, Flaria. I have no idea what you're doing anymore. I need a door there, don't I? Yes. Right. Doors. Doors, doors. I'm doing doors, it's okay, I know what I'm doing. Look, go away, menu. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Menu's like, can you navigate me like right. a boss? <laughs> yeah, so now this will be road. I see what you're saying, that makes a lot yes. more sense. Because then they can run straight through yeah. it and take the shortcut. Right, I'm, I'm not so going to assign there. the dining area yet, because yeah. if I do, they're going to start bringing their bread down here yeah. to eat like retards, I guarantee it. Oh, bring bread down here, guys! Yeah. So we'll let them build up the internal walls, and then we'll do the second layer walls, and then we'll roof it off, and then we'll put the barrels in for the barrel storage area. Now, the barrel storage area mm. can be anything. Yeah. We know this. Do we want it as masonry? Um, I'll also get harvest going. Probably want it as masonry, because that's the prettiest looking floor. You've got a choice of masonry or carpentry. Carpentry looks a bit dirty. Although the carpentry might go with the walls, what do you think? Come on, expert, Sharon. You've sure, got all the lovely sim houses. <sighs> Come on, you need to know Simple. how to do this. You have very limited choices, though. I think that was quite good, actually. Yeah, there you go. See, that's okay. Like with the walls. So we'll put barrels on the carpentry zone. Uh, this is going to be kitchen. Yeah. I can assign kitchen because they won't come and cook in it because there's no equipment there yet. You never know. You'll just get one of the outlaws sat in there with a but he light, uh, lighting his bread Where's and fire. Where's the kitchen? There it is. Where's the stove in this goddamn kitchen? <laughs> I've been studying for six hours. <laughs> that alpha loss. Fucking eggs been flying uh. for years. Right. And then obviously we're going to want to road through it. Are we roading through in blue? Just to keep with the theme? Yeah, or just do to you keep wanna... with the theme. No, let's have wooden uh, floor in and everything. Well, we can't, but... <laughs> it would look fantastic for you, God. Did we they could ever use a, We could that? use a new colour. We could use... Green or orange yeah. to sort of differentiate. It's gonna look weird. What, What's is that, that one? Have we met? Do you have white? Yeah, white. We can road in well, white. It's white walls. Isn't yeah. It? All right then. Yeah. That kind of goes. I'll put the order in for that, and then we're probably gonna need a little bit of stone if we can't. That's just. I don't yellow. know if we'll have enough we to do that. One, um, it's not yellow it's specifically. Gone. It's like um, I don't know what color it will look when it's down. Obviously, yellow's yeah. dyed yellow. It's some sort of plain, you know what I mean, uncoloured one. Ah, which looks very like yellow. Fantastic. Well, yeah. I mean, it might look a sort of brownie colour once it's down. You can't always tell because it looks so weird. And it's like once you render the video, it looks different it's again. It's a merchant, by the way, and we completely ignored it. Oh, shit. Who is it? Pinky, <laughs> Pinky. merchant. Uh, so it's, it's Ikea. Ikea, right? Yeah. Now then. It's got some hell of a Stone wood, tables though. for the dining room, Valerius. What do you think? We could get four of them, so that's not a bad idea. Oh my god, we could get a chess set for the corner, you know, like for all the old townies to play chess with each other. There's golden bird cottage up there as well, which is cheaper than us making them. That is true. So I think we should get a chess set. Do you want to buy set. some of this shit? Let's yeah. get a golden bird cottage, a chess set. In the corner for the old people to play on. And the stone, stone tables. tables. Yeah, anything else that's any good? I think that's it, to be honest oh, with you. Um... Can we sell this guy that spare thing we've got? No, we can't. What did you have at the very top there? What? Oh, we've got slime and water where we can sell to him. We don't. We can sell. Do you want to sell the green slime? We've also got 102 iron. We don't use slime for anything though. We use iron. <laughs> yeah, but are the, are the barrels full? If we've only got two rows. Oh, got iron. Yeah, and iron's renewable. Should we sell the iron? Can't be full on iron, surely not. I'm just thinking if the, let me have a look. Iron oh no. Yeah. We've got a couple of spare barrels. I thought it was two hundred. Because obviously once it fills they'll stop hauling it from the mines. Why has she got no Oh it's is me. Because she's a bear now, isn't she? Yeah. I keep forgetting that. She, she's a bear. She's a bear. So, so we'll sell him the green slime. You're a bear, is me. Well, you're a boss. I have no idea. <laughs> Everything just goes uh, black and I believe God. I'm dead. He's got quite a bit of money as well. He might wipe us out of slime here, Valerius. Well, if he wipes us out of slime, he can sell the iron. There we go. Two, yeah. two birds with well, one we've, stone. We've got red slime as well. No, we're going to iron. Because uh, the red slime has got a massive gap, but the green slime is getting yeah. up to 150. And the red slime can, can actually be used. I reckon in the next dungeon we're going to have more slimes. 
So I reckon slime's, slime's going to go start coming back in. Oh, yeah, there'll definitely be slimes down there. I think the slimes will be coming back to town. Right. A bunch of shit in the market. Excellent. Uh, Harvest is done. We've got blue flowers. Did they do that bit of road? Yes, they did. So what have they been doing in the meantime? Putting doors everywhere. (laughs) Put these Um, doors down before the walls. That's how you build houses, guys. And now we need the internal walls, which they're not working on yet. Yeah. What are they doing? Ah, they're hauling slime now. Yeah, that's going to take a little bit. Of time. That's going to... Oh, my God, they've left everything everywhere as usual, Valerius. I know, they're messy little things, aren't they? <sighs> Fucking hauling, man. Oh, God. If only if only they could overhaul the hauling mechanics. Oh, look, they're doing the white road as well. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah, it's really smart, isn't it? <laughs> to be honest, I bet, you know, if you roaded the entire place in white road, it would look fantastic. Now what I want is for them, every time they step through the door, they have to have a uh, proper t- top hat, tuxedo, monocle. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as, they, as, soon as they cross the threshold, like yeah. it's like shirt and tie and tails. Yep. Walking down with some swag of their cane. <laughs> it's going to look brilliant, isn't it? We're also going to need scaffolding. Uh, probably straight down this back wall. Because obviously there's a road in the mm. way. Um, should I put? I'll get that up now. Actually, what's? It's under any wall, isn't it? Yeah, any wall. It always makes you wonder about towns. Like, ha- is there any kind of story behind it or anything? What do you mean? Well, towns is basically like all the other building games you've ever seen. Mm. But. There doesn't actually seem to be any kind of story behind it. Like you've got well, these like folk tale recently. Came, well, folk tale recently came out where they escape from. Someone, That's different. That's like it's or you fully have, voice you acted, have black and, and white. You know. Where you are looking after these people who start off without you know forks and knives. Where townies just seem to turn up, and go right. We've got knives and forks. We just don't know how to build an house or cook <laughs> or eat or harvest bread. It's just because it's... it's like, what, it's... what kind of simpletons can build knives and forks but are unable to harvest their own well, bread? Well, to be honest, we've never seen them build any knives or forks. I think they just eat with their fingers. But quite clearly, it looks like sometimes they're eating with a knife and fork. And how how do they know that it makes them happier sleeping in a bedroom? <laughs> right? Just it, Do they have this image in their mind of, oh, I wish but, I had a bed to sleep on? I well, no, what they, they don't know it. They just, once you get them in a bedroom, they're like, oh, this is nice. I mean, what happens if you build a bedroom, right, and just put a dead cow in there? Would they just sleep on the dead cow and go, I imagine this is what a bed would feel like it's, if I knew what one was? It would probably still be comfier than sleeping outside. It's just, base, just basic logic, Valeris. But it's not. <laughs> you are happier sleeping in a bed, are you not? Yeah, but if you be, build these guys in bedrooms, they're happier sleeping on the floor in the bedroom. Well, yeah, true. I would probably so be happier outside than on the floor in a bedroom, considering the bedroom is probably going to have a hard floor. Sleeping on the stockpile like they were at the start of the game. Well, no, that was just their own. <laughs> There's loads of dirt. These around. logs are all lumpy <laughs> and a stone hurts my back. <laughs> it was Ronald that slept on hollows. <laughs> uh, right, so look at this. I got this a bull in the kitchen. 15. Okay, we need stone. A we need a kitchen. little bit of stone. There's a, um, a bull. There's a bull in the kitchen. A bull in the kitchen. Mm. We just need a chunk. If I just take this section. Just, just, just this, just the tip. There you go, just the tip. I want those three bits as well. Oh god, so uh, greedy. I'm greedy. Oh god, that's, go. that's more than three bits. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's gonna be symmetrical, it's hilarious. It's gonna be symmetrical. Um, right, good. They've got wood. How much wood have we got? Two. Two hundred fourteen. That's good. That's that should be enough to get the next set of walls up. I was close. So you weren't close at all. You were <laughs> I was away. close. Uh, is that a new market? No, it's the same one. Well, you're telling them to mine no, stuff. That's is just sort of lurking around. Mm. What's he up to? He's, he's like, I see you've come back to town, Pinky. still hauling slime. Uh, after I told you to leave, Pinky, you've come back to town. They keep selling me slime. I don't care. <laughs> How much slime have we got left? You don't come here and rob these people of their slime addiction. Nothing. Yeah. I think any other slime must be on a locked level, Valerius. Yeah, oh my god. It can't be on a locked level, remember? We figured that out last time. Mm? If what? it's on a locked level, it doesn't show up, remember? Yeah. Like bones. Exactly. So we couldn't sell all the bones to him because it was on a locked level. But we've got 49 slime and none of it's in barrels. Yeah, but if you remember, it wasn't even on there, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it shows on there. That's how we noticed the inconsistency. Because the market said we had none, and over here we had like 256. Well, 
Only thing we can remember is we can't sell him more than we've got, so there you go. That was how we figured out, you know, we had a blue hat but then couldn't equip it or anything. Just remember, we can't sell him more than we've got, so... We've already, yeah, we've already sold him. Then. We've already done the selling, I'm just saying. There is no more slime. You are no more slime. So we, we don't have any more slime until we open... must be on this level somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of slime around there. It's just sliming all over. Call that slime. There's a lot of goblin heads. heads as well, yeah, and a load of ites. We should probably open that up at some point. Uh, yeah, but let's let's Have let him do a bit there's, of building there's first. There's bones down there as well. And yeah, the bone merchants the one who buy all those. We yeah. haven't got any more bones. We are gonna. We have got a load of bones because we we fished a load up from the other level. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure if they finished clearing which, that level out actually. Which section is it in? This one. Um, looks like they probably picked it clean. They just haven't done the pink slots. Yeah, well, we haven't got a barrel yeah, that you told me not to oh, build one. Go left. What's that bow? Oh, it's just the bow of the arachnid. You ask this every time we go past that bow, and every time well, I delete go, it's then. just... Delete the stupid bow! <laughs> it is shit. It's a crappy bow, no yeah. one likes There's it. There's another one somewhere, it. it's not the only one. We probably <laughs> can sell it. I don't think it's worth it. just looks much. pretty, because it's blue and sparkly. Yeah, we should get some barrels for this red gel. Yeah. So that they actually start bringing it up. A good, a good idea. We'll put it in the uh, kitchen. No, there's some more green slimes. We'll put it in the kitchen because then we can apply it liberally to the meat that we no. cook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, funny, funny you should say that. In America, there is an ingredient called pink slime. It's banned over wow. here. They can't put it in the food over here. But it's um, it's basically like, you know, like when you... When you when you get meat, right? When you get an animal, you sort of you hack off all the nice good bits, like steaks and shit like that, right? Yeah. And then you've got sort of you still got plenty of meat on there. And there's nothing wrong with it, and so you can fish all the fucking you can scrape all the meat off the bones and what have you. Yeah. And it's like, and then you've got the bits that like are just sort of like connective tissue and veins and scabby bits, and you can mash all those up and mince them up and turn them into sausages or something where you know they're still quite edible. Mm -hmm. But there's also like there's. I don't know the full story behind it. I read something about it, and it's like so long ago I've completely forgotten. But there's like there's there's various sort of levels of meat, and it's like you can get down to the point where it's not fit for human consumption, and yeah. that gets put in like dog food and shit. But um, yeah, pink slime is um, it's just sort of like minced up, really nasty bits of of meat, and it's like it's just like pink goop, and they put they you know they because they have to legally list the ingredients. It's actually you know, if you buy really cheap meat over there, like cheap meat products, it's got pink slime as an ingredient. Awesome. And it's all like, it's, I think it's mainly like connective tissue and plasma and shit like that. The grossest thing is I will probably still eat this. But over here, it's not considered fit for human consumption, so it's like they don't even put it in, in like even the cheapest 5p sausages from like, you know, Tesco own brand. <laughs> and 5p sausages are so nice. Oh man, it's weird, isn't it? I forgot these, what I was doing. Oh um, yeah, barrels. <laughs> these people building that while you were looking at. You just start to me with the pink slime barrels. So yeah, I'm gonna. Um, Imagine I'm just. Should I order the, the barrels for the pink slime? I think I should do. Don't, don't you think we've got enough? To... God. I know, Blair. Well, all should not be a high priority right now, and we. Well, it's we've not... only got a few minutes left. I mean, my God. But you've got to you've got to keep these bastards busy, Blair. So otherwise, they'll just take the piss. But then when they take the piss, more people come. <laughs> they want to take the piss too. <laughs> hey, those guys are taking the piss. Let's go join them. <laughs> okay. And that's exactly how townies start. 40, 35... 40, how are townies created, Chowon? Uh, well, Valerius, when Alphalos decides that we need new townies, he, uh, he takes Terror in round to, uh, to Gloriana's room. <laughs> <laughs> but I've just noticed... There's no... Turns out the lights. Just put some Barry White on. <laughs> There's no like age of townies, right? So I've never really seen a tiny baby townie or a young well, townie or a teenage townie. They don't. Yeah. So uh, is there like some kind of townie school that they're all in? It's all their time for, to come to a townieville. It's all immigration, isn't it? They they immigrate from somewhere, but from where? Where do they immigrate from? Right, it, even if right, say you know Poland the, virus. They this, all come this, from Poland. This girl <laughs> immigrated to Townsville. How come she never ever has any kind of son or daughter because or it's... any kind of child because of any it's a description? Game. I've noticed no dogs, no cats, no squirrels. Yeah, no dogs or cats. I've not even seen I've an octopus. Seen... I mean, how hard is it to create an octopus? And they're, they're fantastic. God damn, I love Why octopuses. is. 
Because she was relaxing and then you had to go look at her. She was summoning the dead and playing with Sadon. Was she examining the Sadon Kalitzer? Yes, and summoning She's the dead. She's up to something. Or maybe she was picking something up. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Wood? No, she's just taken some. She's taken yeah. wood? Oh, is she making a barrel? But why <sighs> was she stood over here? What the she fuck? She was examining the Sadon and then trying to bring things back to life. Like that chicken that's on the floor. It's still very weird. It's very weird. She shouldn't have been over there. She had no reason to be over there, Valerius. It's out the, of bounds. The Frankenstein monster, right? It was Dr. Frankenstein, wasn't it? What was the monster yeah. actually called? Uh, like Jeff or something? No. no. Uh, well, did it really have a answers. name? I, I'm not sure it did. Was it just called the monster? He was, well, he was, it was Frankenstein's monster. It was, you know, apostrophe S ownership. Um, I'm yeah. not sure actually because it's been a long time since I read the original book. He might have, he might have had a name, but I honestly can't remember. This guy building all the scaffolding himself. Yeah, they do. I, I like the fact that you know people can bring along multiple scaffoldings yeah. and they don't have to actually make it out of anything. It's like free. But yeah, I was thinking about that last night because I saw something else about the little Frankenstein thing. You like, could probably just Google it, Blair. I'd imagine it's uh, it's well documented. Oh, well, thank you. I'll just go Google it then, shall I? Do it, Blair. It's Google that shit. I don't know how to use Google. <laughs> how I Google? I don't know how to fuck something. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Um, I need video. Oh, yeah. From you mean the GM. Castle Dracula. Yeah, um, that was brilliant. The Sega Genesis one? I don't know. It's, like it's one of those old thing, text yeah. adventures, though. I used, no, to, I used to have one of them on the... Uh, fuck yourself. Do not know how to fuck something. <laughs> on, the, on the Spectrum, I had one called Waxworks, and that was the same sort of deal. And You had to type in everything, and it was like, go west, look on floor. <laughs> and it was so, it was so, so difficult to get anything done in there. So fantastic. Yeah. yeah. You don't get many games, games like that anymore. It's a shame, really. I, I could design this one. <laughs> You probably could. <laughs> They're quite easy to make nowadays. Can make you a very simple one. You want it in Visual Basic or uh, in... You want it to be rooms. really funny, though. I think the only one I can think of that's sort of, like, still around that's quite well known is the Hitchhiker's Guide version. Because there's a Hitchhiker's Guide, like, text adventure that's meant mm. to be, like, really good and it's really funny as well. Oh, what I should make is the hardest text-based adventure game. Right? <sighs> And that already exists, actually. There was one, I can't remember what it's called, right? But I remember reading about it in, I'm sure it was in one of the Amiga magazines. Like, this is how old it was. And it was, um, it was just, everyone was, nobody could sort of get past the first thing. Cause you, you start the game and you're in a room. Yeah. And it doesn't seem to be any way out. And it was like, and people were so confused, they kept writing into this magazine going, how do I get out of the first room? So eventually they, they sort of like did a, a whole sort of article about it. And the, the solution to the very first thing was you had to type in hyperventilate. <laughs> hyperventilate? <laughs> yeah. You needed to breathe rapidly. I can't remember why, because it, it was someone to do with the puzzle. I think the room might have been filling with gas or something. The idea was you had yeah. to knock yourself out, and then, like, when you come around, the gas had dissipated and something had happened or something. Like that. But yeah, but, like, obviously, it's so fucking. It doesn't make any sense. Nobody would think of trying that. So people were trying all sorts of stuff, like climb wall, eat hands, you know, this lot. Now I was thinking of making one that, like, um, basically, you start, like, in bed and you get out and it goes, what do I do? <laughs> Go north. You fall down a tremendous pit. Should have looked first. <laughs> <laughs> kind of really annoying like that. Oh, a tr- basically a troll <laughs> yeah. adventure. Go east. Do you want to step over the alligator pit? Yes. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. The alligators bite your cock up as you step over. Uh, here comes the scaffolding. Right. Oh man, that'd be such an amazing game. I think and make people rich. I think that's a good place to leave it, Valerius. Scaffolding's down. Uh, there's a bit of road to come, but it, you know we could be waiting ages for that. So we'll leave it there, and we'll come back next episode and carry on building the meat processing facility. Fantastic, quastic, my friend. Okay. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.